All right. We're back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. And it turns out, you know, whenever I'm not playing Hogwarts Legacy, I'm looking up uh, articles and such about it. Just to see, like, people's thoughts on it and uh, potential, like, trivia. The, like, player-based trivia, like, how many people are, you know, like, when I found out that uh, Hufflepuff is the least selected house. And Slytherin is the highest. Oddly enough, with Gryffindor being number second and Ravenclaw being third. But... One thing that I was really interested in reading was that, like, and, and there was an article that I was reading that was talking about a multiplayer mod that's being made, and it's being done by the same guy who's doing the Skyrim, or who did the Skyrim Together mod, so that you can play Skyrim multiplayer. And once I read that, I'm like, wait, like, Hogwarts Legacy has the potential to be another Skyrim. It's not quite there. Did you... Because the main thing is... Uh... Oh, there it is. There, There's that article again. Just, it just popped up on my phone. My phone is listening to me. Yeah, no, there it is. Um, yeah, it's not quite there, because whereas Skyrim, like, with Skyrim, it's like, here's the world, we're gonna drop you into it the moment you finish the dragon attack on Helgen. It's like, go nuts. You're, you're free to go wherever you want and do whatever you want and follow whatever side quest you want. Whereas in Hogwarts Legacy, it's like, yeah, we're gonna drop you in Hogwarts. You have to do these few quests first. But then you're free to go do whatever you want. Sort of. Like, it, it. The majority of the game is locked out to you until you do, like, a lot of the main quests and follow the main story. Whereas in Skyrim, you can completely ignore the main story. And you don't have to do it. And yeah, you could ignore the main story in this one too, but. I've been playing for 16 hours. 16 hours, and I'm still technically at the beginning of the game. Because again, when it was talking about like unlocking the brooms and flight, I think another article I read is like the things you should know before playing uh, Hogwarts Legacy. And one of them was that it was saying that's like you should keep playing until you get your broom. And it stated that getting your broom happens fairly early on. And I'm sitting there like, wait. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm 20 hours into this game, and uh, you telling me I'm still at the beginning? <laughs> but I guess it's been 16 hours. 16 hours. It's almost 20 hours. Makes sense, this is part six. Each part has been between three to five hours. So, yeah, that checks out. If I had actually been able to do each part uh, five hours each, I'd be at 30 hours right now. But, you know, this thing, the save load, I know that's supposed to be a disc. But it looks like a Pokeball. It straight up does. Ancient magic, hold aim. Tool wield, use tool. Charmed, compass, okay, quest info. Heal, Revelio, spell menu. Interact, perform, jump, yeah. I'm supposed to hold to you, stupefy, right. I don't know why I always thought, like, I don't know why I always thought that uh, 
Stupefy was I had to do a perfect Protego in order to access Stupefy, but that's not the case. I just have to hold Protego and then once I use my basic cast, I will instead use Stupefy. All right, on the upside, there is no... What the frick? Secret rooms? The room of requirement and the map chamber. Oh, is that... Yeah, the map, map chamber. Okay. No, that'll be... Later! Follow the butterflies. I heard Clementine Wilsner is talking to herself in the three broomsticks. She mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. All right, now, we'll deal with that later. Right now, main quest. Flying class! Awesome! I can get the broom. Professor Sharp's assignment is to Pulso. Acquire and use a Focus Potion. Acquire Maxima and Edoras Potion and use them simultaneously? Yeah, see, the flying class requires level 6. I'm level 20. I saw oh. you fight that troll in the village. You were incredible. Oh, thanks, Slytherin student. That's kind of out of character, usually. Usually Slytherin's, um... If it's not a person of their, if it's not a person from their house, they're usually just like, oh, you, you just got lucky, blah blah blah. But uh, the only time that they supported anyone that wasn't from their house was in Goblet of Fire during the Triwizard Tournament because they would rather support Cedric than Harry. <laughs> so. Flying class would be really helpful. Get my own broom. But you know what also is really helpful? A new spell. Uh, do I even have... I have an Eredus potion. But I don't have a Maxima potion. I can go buy one. Oh, you know what? I might be able to work this into my favor. Acquire Maxima and Adurus Potion. Yeah. Oh, I need to get a Focus Potion, too. Okay, I can actually work this out. Um, I can actually work this out perfectly. Because if I do the flying... If I go to flying class, I should gain access to a broom. And be able to fly. And if that's the case, I'll be able to, like, go to, uh, like, Hogsmeade quickly and easily in order to pick up the uh, potions. And also explore a lot more. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Took a wrong turn. So, who is the best student in the class? The fuck is going on here? I mean, my family's owl is getting too old. Half of the letters end up in the local pond. Oh, they're flying kites. Is it fall already? No, there's still like butterflies to signify like summer, spring kind of thing, even though butterflies are in the fall.
Hey, Hufflepuff student, you make sure you cut down all those other ones. We're gonna learn to fly. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Are we gonna do the whole up thing? We are. We totally are. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Oh, hello. hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the. Seat. I would like to imagine that as soon as she said "up," all the brooms just. <laughs> uh Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up, up! You stupid ratty school broom. Up. That almost looked like it was just right through my hand. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Boo! That's the cool way to sit, though. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Got it. This'll take some getting used to. Wish I had my own broom. Oh, don't you worry. Almost just crashed into that other Hufflepuff. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Alright, just... Can you teach me how to speed up? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Ho ho! Let's go! What have you? Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> Good, I've got this. Woo! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh, this is great. I love this. Music actually works out, too. Beat your heart out, Superman 64. Okay, so it is kind of like... I... I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clockton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? But... We'll get in trouble! 
Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. I try to make I try to make Shion a, a nice student. About to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Sorry, hang on. It Let's stuttered. The headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. There's the famous bridge. Now that's Think of like... all the magic. You sure you're not part hippogriff? And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. But I said we'd get in trouble. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hefty points. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I'd rather the points. Perhaps. But we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Might have to take a trip to Hogsmeade. Madam Kugawa. About what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Hufflepuff should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Ooh. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Absolutely. 
Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hmm. So, if I'm not mistaken, Sebastian is going to teach me them naughty, naughty curses. Confringo? Hmm. That's not naughty. She's going to give me the room of requirement. Learn a curse with Sebastian? Uh, Franco's not a curse, is it? Fendo confront no, that's just a That's just a fire spell. I wonder if I can uh, use the shortcut to Honeydukes in order to get the Hogsmeade. I mean, from here it's not actually that far. I, I could go. I could just walk. I do need to sell some of my stuff. I got too much inventory. Right? Too much gear? Yep, 24 out of 24. I'm full. Let's go into quests and we'll activate this one. Because I feel like if I get my own... If I can go and buy my own broom, then... I can, uh, I can start flying. Which will make travel much easier. And yes, there is the, uh... What was that noise? And yeah, there's, uh... There's always the fast travel and whatnot, but actually traveling is much better than fast travel because you can find a lot of the secrets. You're able to get uh, a lot of the items. What is this? Love letter. My dearest Ap Apollonia, would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you I know you enjoy a good Cornish pasty almost as much as you could enjoy a good mystery. See you soon, I hope. Yours, Richard. The Forest of Death. Or the Forbidden Forest, sorry. Wrong forest.
Are you okay? I really like all of the NPCs ago, no doubt. In, in this game because, like, they're not just there for the sake of being there. They seem to, like, follow their own daily schedule, so to speak. Not quite. Not 100%. It's not like, you know... Majora's Mask levels of, like, schedules. It almost seems like, uh, like, to go back to Skyrim again, there's a mod in Skyrim where, like, you can make it so that the AI, uh, Seems like they actually have their own, like, lives. Like, you can mod it so that they will, like, go inside when it rains. Or, like, nighttime, they go to bed and they go shopping on certain days. This game, I don't know, it just feels like they have that automatically. Like, every NPC, to me, it looks like every NPC has a story to tell. And sometimes, like that girl that just ran by me, like, hugging herself, you look at that and go, I want to know what happened. I didn't, I didn't realize I didn't grab this. Hogsmeade! The only all-wizarding village in Britain, Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students, third years and up, for centuries. Mine. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I know there's a treasure chest in here too that I couldn't open. Because I didn't know the concealment charm. Wasn't it like over here somewhere? I um I'ma ruin this treasure chest day. I mean, it gives me 500 galleons, so... Like, those treasures just give me 500 galleons a pop. Sack Black, think of the students? Wait a minute, what? What's going on? Sorry. There's never been a good witch or wizard that came out of that family, and I say there never will be. Well, you know, what I you know. I think it was Ministry Meddling that made Black Headmaster. I'll bet you anything. There is some good Black family members, but. Sadly, they're not looked good upon. Even Sirius Black, who uh, is probably one of the best black members of the black family. Yeah, even he isn't. Even he isn't looked fondly upon.
Hey, it's open. Wonderful. Cool. Thanks for the treasure chest. Yeah. That's fine. I could just talk to you and Okay, um Revenia. Spent Witch of Sporting Needs, run by the admirable Alby Weeks. The shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Alby himself is working on a, n a number of broom enhancements. Um, yeah, I would like a, um, a Nimbus 2000 and a Firebolt, please. What? You don't got that? Of course you don't. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Absolutely. Two rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. You say no easy feat, but you did it, didn't you? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with a U one's darker reputation. Oh, yeah. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Mm. Well, first off... Nice doing business with you. First off, we're going to sell all this junk so I can get space in my inventory. Yeah, no, that's it sucks, so. Even if I can't wear it, it still sucks. Can I keep these two because they I can identify them. They're not probably not gonna be that great, but I still wanna identify them. Oh, only six hundred? Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. Which one do I want? Ember Dash Broom. Perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament? That item is of the highest quality. Alright, good start, good start. Um, okay, what about this Hogwarts house broom? That item is of the highest quality. Sure, she said that about everything. You see, this that one... Item is of the highest quality. I look at this broom and say... I want to ride that. Like, literally. Mind it of the gutter. But no, I take a look at this broom and be like, hey, quality riding broom, let's go. I look at this one and go, ah, I'll clean my kitchen with that. Finally, from Ash, this broom is built for stability. Hmm. I like that it's got little pouches on the side. Wind with broom. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oof. Yeah. Whoa. 
Where do I sit on that? Do I sit here? So apparently, people don't like this broom. Because of uh, its darker nature. So I'm assuming that everyone who's played this game is going to get a U-Weaver broom. Because, oh, dark arts, yes, gotta have a U-Weaver broom. That item is of the highest quality. The second one that I'm seeing many people buying is this Ember Dash one, because that's the best looking broom. And then the third, I think, is going to be their house broom. That item These other is the two? Highest quality. This one? Uh, 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 uh. Um. Eh. <laughs> that item is of the highest quality. This one's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, shut up. <sighs> I'm curious now. I want to look it up. I want to look it up. I want to look up uh, to see if there's a way to find out which broom was purchased the most. What's the most popular broom? That's the best broom. There's no, actually no best broom since all of them have the same speed and perks after being fully upgraded. The broom choice, much like the wand or the mount choice, is purely aesthetic and has no impact on gameplay, so you can fly in whichever you want and it will be just as fast as any other option. Of the 13 available brooms, 9 can be bought on many different vendors. Some will only spawn after clearing certain side quests, and the other 4 obtainable by clearing the balloon challenges scattered throughout the school's field. No, no. No, this article's wrong. While, there ha while they have some sick designs, such as the Night Dancer and the Sky Scythe Broom, some classics from the books, such as the Nimbus series or the Firebolt, are nowhere to be seen. This is most likely not an oversight, since developers probably figured that most people would just ignore all other options available if any broom that once belonged to Harry Potter himself could be obtained in the game. You're right. Like, they probably did think that. But at the same time, it's easier to just say that that series wasn't around yet. Well, maybe maybe the Nimbus, because the Nimbus that Harry got was the Nimbus 2000. So it makes sense that, like, the Nimbus in this day and age would be the Nimbus 1800. Or maybe the 1870... The Nimbus 1870. <laughs> Wasn't it like... Pretty sure it was like 1995 or 1996 that Harry got his Nimbus 2000. So it's not by year. Hmm. I can't remember. I don't remember what year the books take place. I know it's in the 1990s at first. Uh, 
I just wanted the most popular broom. Every broom we have unlocked in the game. Legacy is plenty of ways for Harry Potter fans to explore the vast world, but for many, the broom would be top of their list. Da, 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 da. Purchasable brooms, our favorite has to be the Wind Wisp broom, which is quirky and fun. So, it's not really, sh I'm not really seeing a, uh, any list of, like, how many people bought a br search broom, because maybe it's not possible to see that, but I do like the Zember Dash broom. That I, item is of the highest quality. Yeah, 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 you say that about everything. I'll take the Ember Dash broom. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I could buy the others too, because that's totally possible, but nah. I spent all day picking a broom. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Let's talk about your passion for a second. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers maneuver the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. 
And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Yeah, pretty sure this uh, shop isn't here when Harry gets to school. Otherwise, he would have gone straight for it. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I will. Prohibit flying, look for no flying icon near the minimap. Okay. Unidentified I face items. Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. So I can't fly in in Hogsmeade. So we'll just we'll just leave. Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. There we go. Speed burst. Hey, you, Hufflepuff. Yeah, me. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Yeah, uh, mm -mm. not really showing off. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the best. This, flyer. this is the Slytherin <laughs> attitude. The fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, so they speed me up?
Good thing I figured that out. I got a three second penalty, but that's fine. I'm still winning. <laughs> now that's more like it. Yeah, not bad for the first time. New best time. She only did two minutes? Oh, she's supposed to be the best flyer. Ugh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> All right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Uh, 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 uh. I never thought. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. I did like that. I like the way the broom handles. So it did say that it, he did mention something about like it flies faster at lower altitudes. I know, I know. Can't enter well mounted. That's fine. It's a no fly zone. A no fly zone. Now, is his shop open at night? Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Yeah. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. Yeah. 
Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I mean, he's right about that. Because, like, if something changes, people will always complain, oh, it was, it was better back in the old days, better back this way. But then, eventually, as it stays, you're just like, well, pff, we couldn't have done without this. Like, I can't imagine a world without this. Like, cell phones, for instance. Um... When cell phones first came out, I'm pretty sure there were several people that's like, who needs cell phones? Like, it was better back in the old days with home phones. And now there's people out there that literally can't live a second or even a minute without their cell phone in their hand. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. What are we looking for today? So you'll have to, so you'll come and tell me about that upgrade, right? Two unidentified head items. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. All right, got a broom. That's over with. That's all set up. So I just need to wait until he contacts me for that. Um, let's go do a demanding delivery because I need to buy focus potion, maxima, and Edoras potion. But I might just go do the room of requirement mission so that I can... Uh, probably brew those pill potions. I might have the materials necessary to brew each of them. I do need to get the recipes for them, though. So I do need to go to, to Pippin. Now that I actually have a decent amount of money under my belt. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? Uh, focus potion. A wise decision. Thank you. Maxima potion, I think. And these suck, so you can have them. Uh, visibility, Eridus, Focus Potion. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Do I know the potion? Do I know the recipe for... So I got the recipe for a focus potion. Okay, yes, I do know the recipe for the Duras potion. Right, he had me make that before. And I, should, I do have one in my inventory. It's just the Maxima potion. Which I have plenty of. Yeah, I have plenty of materials. I have just enough materials for a focus potion. Fluxweed stem. This is why you explore and gather things. And 
I have some more, uh, I need more Dittany, but I have enough to make nine more potions. Not that I need them, I think I'm almost max potion. Because I think I can only carry like 25. Oh, the identi- yeah, the identifying one, unidentified one. Pfft. Okay, so I got brooms unlocked. Love letter. Did I get any... That still needs some legendary armor, armored attire. Complete six main story quests. Legendary mask. Lucky leprechaun hat. So eight more main story quests. Did I level up at all? No. Almost. Almost. I almost got another talent point. So that was another one of these, was it? Got that on. Legendary Armored Attire. Not bad, actually. I do like my dueling one better, but I do like this. Goes well with the gloves, goes well with the cape, naturally, because the cape's legendary as well, I believe. Yeah, legendary cape, so it makes sense it goes well with the cape. <laughs> but I do like my uh, crossed wands outfit. Alright, so I could just ignore him right now and go to the Room of Requirement, but... Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help! I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Revelio. Think. J. Pippin's potions established in 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. So why is it called J. Pippin's Potions? I guess that would be his father's. It was his father's shop, I think, and then he got it, is what he said. But it's a missed opportunity to rechange the names to Perry Pippin's Potions. Revelio. Butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, Butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. And yet they sell it to students.
I leveled up, so I just got a talent. You know what that means. Time to put more points into something. So I've upgraded all of these, so I just need to... What's the next one? That's Confringo. Impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Ooh. To Pulso, I'm also going to get... I'm about to get the room of requirement, but I don't use items, so that's useless. One more level and I can get this, which is handy. Maybe get another core skill to start successfully evading an unblockable attack with dodge contributes to ancient magic meter. Successful Protego. Um, let's get that spell. Let's actually get the spell knowledge. Let's get the secondary. Not that I have the spells for it yet, but having that secondary spell list just just ready to go. Yeah. I think all my spells are equipped right now, though. So, Levioso is there. I got Akio there. Expelliarmus is there. Incendio is there. My Disillusionment is there. Lumos is there. Reparo's there. That's all I know right now. But I do have that slot ready to go for when I learn some new spells. Because I am going to learn... Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I say two, but I'm going to learn, learn like five if you want to count the fact that I'm going to learn some spells from uh, the Room of Requirement alone. Ooh, what's that? Yoink. Oh, hi. Incendio. Did I just... I just died. I did try to dodge, but my finger hit both Protego and dodge at the same time, and it inputted Protego first, so it shattered my shield. That was my first death, and it was to a goddamn frog. How far does that set me back? I'm counting it as my first death. I know the other night I fell down a hole, which ended... Oh. Right here. Cool, right where I died. Where's the... Uh... Where's the actual block that I'm supposed to... Is that it? Yoink. Yep, 
Come with me. Come with me. Intriguing. Come on. Come on. Up, up we get. Come on. Literally have to roll you. Well, here we go. Stylish top hat. Oh, hell yeah. Sucks. But how does it look? Where's that stylish top hat? Where's that stylish? There's that stylish top hat. Again, I don't like the fact that it's tilted to one side. But what can you do? Revelio. At all that's here? Usually that is the case. I do kind of wish I had like a ribbon. Balloons. Now oh, this needs Alohomora, which I do not have. Can I like huh. kind of This leads right to Hogsmeade, doesn't it? Of course it does. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. Dark wizard. What? I bet you're back. Wiggling. What you got in there? Not rat tires. No, it's a niffler. What do I want with a niffler? He's sharp. Stole from me, he did. He was robbed by a niffler. I, that's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on then. Show him to me. Uh, uh, I must You're wasting my time. Ow! No, I would never you waste your... your little rat scratch come me. Come on, you what little... you can't even oh, keep hold on, where are you? If I he's ever catch a rat. rat, it's dead. You hear me? Dead! Uh, Get out of he's here! He's not a rat. Amateur. <laughs> and you lost your niffler. Any rob you blind. 
That was entertaining. There's just something about, like... Something about, like, the side characters that just these side conversations. It makes the world so... alive. So, where does the road keep, where does the road keep going? Revelio. Ah. Boop! Hogsmeade Station Take Ticket Office. The station has stood here since the early 1800s when Minister for Magic Autoline Gamble acquired a steam engine train to transport students to Hogwarts. The station appeared in Hogsmeade virtually overnight, just after the train did. The operation involved using a lot of memory charms on muggle workers and the largest mass concealment charm ever performed in Britain. So, like, was this actually a muggle station at one point? And witches and wizards were just like, this is ours now, thanks. I was kind of talking about how useful magic would be in, uh, you know, this the real world. While I was at work today. Can't carry any more wig and well potion. Yeah, so twenty five is the max. So, whoops, well, I just let you roam free. So that guy was, uh, he was, he was poaching and I went and not only killed him, but I also poached what he was poaching. Am I, like, at the end of the map? Where am I? Kinda. Kinda am. Like, that is, that is the end of the line. That is... Rockborough? Hmm. At least it tells me what's there. So if I'm missing anything, I can go back and collect it. Field, good old Hogwarts. So there are still twenty-two more chests in Hogwarts that I've yet to find. 
But I need more spells. A lot of field guy pages. Um, I've still got five chests in Hogsmeade that I'm missing. One in Upper Hogsfield. But now that I can actually, you know, fly, I can actually get to these places better. Here I was saying that, oh yeah, I'm gonna follow the main story. Immediately not following the main story. Get all the kitties all. Oh. Yep, yep, you get a pet too. Oh. Squib Cottage. This idea that country's cottage belongs to an elderly squib who chose to live in the wizarding world rather than try to in integrate with muggles like some squibs do. He is con he is content to farm his land non-magically and supply local hamlets with fresh fruits and vegetables, although he will accept the occasional engorgement charm on a gourd or two. Hey, squib, how you doing? Wink. Revelia. Incendio. It's like, did I just set fire to his entire crop? I think I did. Ooh, that's an upgrade. It's like, sir, how do I get into your house? Oh, that's how. Boop. Do you even own a bed? No. You don't. No rest. Awake all day. Anyway, I gotta deliver these potions. See, this is the problem with giving me a broom. platform? What? It's not a thing worth learning from civilized society. Except how to lie. Did I just have to land on them? Hold on. Is that under exploration? I think that's under exploration.
Complete two landing platforms. I just land on them? I guess? It's amazing what you can see from up here. Everything does look different when uh, you're on a broom. I can't get into Hogsmeade because that's a no-fly zone. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Mm-hmm. This one seems like another jump from... Point to point. So we do that. It's so tricky after all, Merlin. <laughs> How is anyone not solved these? See the uh, here's here's the thing, um, the big difference between muggles and witches and wizards. Uh, witches and wizards are dumb, apparently. There's only a select few who are, like, really, really smart. There's another one. I'm already seeing what I think I gotta do. Not that. Lumos. Yeah, I figured. I knew there had to be something to the pillars. Come with me. I'm with me, butterflies. In you go. And then the other one was up over here somewhere. There it is. And the butterflies are not that far behind. Lumos. Come with me. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. It's going to be one of those situations where, like, every Merlin trial I solve is going to make him materialize more and more. And then eventually when I solve them all, he's going to appear and be like, Oh, congratulations, you solved all my, all my puzzles.
Oops, something saw me. Something didn't like me. Woo! Ah! Eek! Eek! Ah! Made that without a scratch. But I see what's going on here. Like, once you're at lower altitudes, you can actually speed speed forever. Like, you can use the, uh, the boost forever. What doesn't like me right now? I'm sorry, what did you drop? Ah, right, the tongue. Which is actually very helpful and important. Um, but I also found a torch here. But th does that signify that there's a Merlin trial somewhere nearby? I don't know why I fought that, those frogs. Because the last time I fought frogs like that, it did not go well for me. What do you have in store for me this time? Yeah, there's the Merlin trial, but well, let's let's find out. There, there, and over there. Incendio. No, I don't think I can make that. No, I need to be able to shoot fire. Maybe. Maybe I can get to it. Maybe. Incendio. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Uh, 
How many of those has that been so far? Got some for uh, Merlin Trials. That's four to six. So two more, and I can increase gear storage. Uh, but I got something for... Oh! Defeating Doug. I'll take that. Doug Boggs. Sure. That allows me to put some traits in. I need to defeat two Dark Wizards for more of those. A couple more spiders. Some trolls. Some mongrels. just has better advantages. You can see the world better. Able to see some of the secrets better. And it is a beautiful countryside. Uh, we dealing with some undead here? By the looks of it, we're dealing with some undead. This is a tomb that I can just enter. You two? I mean, if it's just you two, I'm, I'm just gonna walk up and petrify ya. That easy. something here? Or is this like a quest area that I just have to come to later? That's often the case. There's some enemies over there which I think are wolves. There's some mongrels. Yeah, mongrels. Which I can petrify. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, I've activated it, but what do it's I? It's like a place right out of a storybook. What? What does I do with it? Revelio. That Pippin should have been here by now. Oh. All right, it has something to do with this. Always late that Pippin. <sighs> that Pippin should have been here by now. What 
What am I to do with this? Levioso. Oh, incendio. Experiamus. Lumos. Repairo. That Pippin should have been here. Maybe I don't have the spell for this yet. Always late that Pippin. I can like I could move it somewhat with Accio. That Pippin should have been here by now. Always late that Pippin. That Pippin should have been here by now. If I can do anything with this yet. Which is a shame, because I really wanted to solve that puzzle. I'm close to getting another upgrade. Revelia. A lot of treasure chests here, but... Pleasant enough little place. Always make that pip in. Hmm. A full day's work clears the mind, I guess. Hey, welcome. As I just got a I think uh so it is the same as mine, just pink. Regal handle in shades of pink and cream, whereas the blue one is golden aquamarine. I think I like the pink and green. <laughs> How am I doing all right? Ooh, did I add that? Oh, oh. I was going to say, I was like, I'm always seem to trying to make a habit of uh, ending my day with a positive attitude. And I even made a note of it. Like to do so. For no particular reason, just you know, to stay positive. Always leak that pippin. Well, I can't do anything with that. Uh Revelio. There's there it is. Yay! Ginger root! The barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea. And keeps them imbibing a little, imbibing a little bit longer. That is pretty clever. Is that an actual thing that bars do? Charming house cloak. Oh wait, I got some upgrades. I know I got like full upgrades for something else too. All right, so this health cloak raises my offense by two, which I'm okay with. Pretty charming, but I love my cape, so. Uh, and I got an upgraded scarf, which also raises my offense by five. Pretty charming, but when you come to capes, no scarf! Alright, I don't know if I could do this Merlin quest or 
Merlin puzzle right yet. I'm, I think I'm missing a component or a spell. Or I'm just not seeing the, the overall actual puzzle. But no yawning. There'll be none of that. None of that. Rebellion. The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it sits and sits wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Can I go in the Tilted House? Ooh, I can. Oh my god, that is that would screw with my overall like perspective of things. Jeez, I would sit down and wake up and be like, whoa. What? Please? Thank you. Wonder who lives here. That is a question. That is a question indeed. None of that. None of that. That is quite all right. You rest up. You gotta make sure you're a hundred percent healthy. Health is way more important. What is that? Hmm. All right, it's just the the graphics being All right, there's a treasure chest here, but can I get to it? Uh nope, I need a Lohomora, which I don't have at the moment. I'd very much like to know what to do with that giant ball, though. Alright, lots of goodies at this dock that I'm about to steal. Mine. Mine and mine. I just kicked a barrel and it exploded. All right, I need to talk to this girl and deliver the... So, tell me, do you like Pippin? Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why did you buy them? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. No, here you go. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Of course. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. I'm going to turn into like a frog or something, aren't I? Drink an invisibility potion. Da, 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 da. That is a cool effect. It doesn't last very long, but it's still cool. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. 
If he fails on his own, so be it. Mmm. That is... No. No, you gotta... It... That is not how you do business. If you're gonna be, you know, mean and angry at your competition, your customers, that's gonna rub off on your customers, and that's not gonna be good. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Ooh, so you sell to the Ashwinders. Okay, you sell to Dark Wizards. Got it. Very well. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Actually, I do nice want to... Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? Today I'm a customer. I'd like to ask you a few things, if you don't mind. What would you like to know? Would you mind telling me a little about Keenbridge? You've likely heard talk of the thieving troll that unfortunately settled in the area. Thieving troll? And terrorizing people. Robs all who pass by. So you'd be wise to remain vigilant whilst traveling near Keenbridge. Is, uh... You do not want to come face to horrid face with that monster. Keenbridge. Got it. It is a troll under a bridge. Go figure. Gotta pay his toll. How did you come to live here in Cambridge? I've only been here a few years. Used to sell my wares as I traveled. It was an exhausting life, but I never minded it. One day, my travels brought me through Cambridge. I fell in love. Though my travels continued, my heart remained here. So I eventually returned and opened this shop. Been here ever since. I shall live out my days here in Cambridge if I have any say in it. Which I suppose I do. Not unless that troll comes here and destroys everything. What sort of things do you sell? Potions. I brew each one myself, using only the finest ingredients. I assure you, you won't find their equal anywhere. Even in Hogsmeade. Specifically in Hogsmeade. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Uh, I'm actually looking forward to selling a few things to you. Because my... This will do just fine. I'm still Thank not you. 100% on my inventory. And I can sell the stylish top hat because I'm not actually equipping it right now. And I need to... Oh, you don't have any, like... God damn it, you don't have any recipes. I can't buy any Wigan Well potions because I've already got the max, so. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. I know I can find all this stuff for free just around the world, and I've got a bunch of them. But I'm just gonna buy our entire stock. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I was standing behind a till counting knuff for the sickle. Okay, now it's time to return to Pippin. All the way back. Hopefully I don't have to It's nighttime now, so I won't see much of anything. So there'll be less few less pit stops. I can see the castle from here. I say, as I say, ooh, what is that? Just a bonfire. Nothing out of the ordinary. Now, it says that, like, L pushing down on L3 toggles flight speed, but I'm not noticing a difference at all. Anything in here? 
there's an enemy. That's probably uh, one of them frog things. Is it just one of you? I mean, if it's just one of you. Oh, hi. I landed right next to you. Frank. Nope. Not enough space to call your mount. Ah, out of the water then. There we go. Trying to do a cool thing where I roll and then get back up and hop on the mount is, uh, is a giant squid gonna reach up and try to grab me? Or is that just an event thing where it's just like, hey, look, it's still here. Look at this little Easter egg. I say still here, but this is in the past. Very few boats. I figured there'd be more boats than that. Why is there just two? Don't they have like ten? I wonder why they uh, make the first years go by boat. Oh, right. <sighs> Gotta land. There'll be no flying in Hogsmeade. I'll spout how Spavin's been minister for so long. Godric Gryffindor was the greatest steward. Sorry, I think I dented your pod out there. Potions of a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Oh, not at all. Did she cause you any trouble? I just like the way the character's face dropped. Like, did she cause any trouble? Hmm. Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. <laughs> Still, it's like the way the character speaks. Like, I handled it. Thank you. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. There was an option to try to get more money out of him. But I don't know if I'd be able to pull that off. 300? That's still good. And I try to, I'm trying to make Xion a good student. Even though she already lost points for Hufflepuff. Even though I couldn't make that decision for her. The guy's just like, hey, let's fly around. And then all of a sudden, teacher's just like, no. You're not allowed to fly around. Alright, so that's done. Uh, let's go do the room of requirement. So that I can start making those potions. Uh, wait. Can't. That's right. Can't fly.
Cannot fly inside of Hogsmeade. What I say is true, though. This game does have the potential to be, like, another Skyrim. And by another Skyrim, I mean, like, how long it, it play, like, how long it'll be played. Like, Skyrim has been one of those games that, like, people just go back to and just keep replaying and finding new ways to play it and making mods for it and everything. And I feel like Hogwarts Legacy has that potential as well. Make new mods for it and someone make mods to open up new areas. Alright, so Hogwarts. You can't apparate inside Hogwarts, but can I fly around freely? By the looks of it, yes. Revenia. Okay, so is there like Seriously, Professor Weasley's like right there. Is there an easier way for me to get in from outside besides going through the front door? Come on, this is Hogwarts we're talking about. Should have multiple entrances and even some secret ones. This will do. Can't enter while mounted? What? That's BS. You mean I have to enter through the front? Yeah. Okay, look, I understand. Like... It does have a loading screen when you come into this area, so. What do you mean I can't dismount here? What do you mean I can't dismount here? It's... <sighs> Fine. Am I supposed to, like, dismount outside of school? Okay, cool. Oh god, where's Peeves now? What's he doing? Okay, cool. He's, uh... Wait. Hold on. Is this... Professor... We no, this isn't... But That's not Professor Weasley. That's, uh... That's Sebastian. I'll still learn Confringo. I don't see why I can't wait. Over here. Oof. Sleeping on the hard floor, hard marble floor. Not, not recommended. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Undercroft? This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I've never... Oh, I've seen this. I was just like, what is this thing?
Um, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna close the door on you. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Yoink! Yeah, cool, I'm gonna raid the place. Hold on, so his sister's name is Anne. Wait. Why does it seem like this is another secret passage? Vivelio. There was another Anne. Was Anne the one who died? Hold on, I gotta go back to my quest for a second. Something's clicking and I'm just like, hold on. Where's my completed quests? Charms class, Weasley after class. Welcome to Hogwarts. Prisoner of Love. Portrait of Eldritch Diggory in my common room put me in touch with a retired or named Helen Thistlewood. She believed the missing pages were connected to the disappearance of a student named Richard Jackdaw. Helen took me to Azkaban where I met the supposed perpetrator of Jackdaw's disappearance, a prisoner named Anne Thisby. All right, so that's just a coincidence. They used the name Anne twice. Cool, because you don't usually see that in video games. Not for, not very often. Because that woman in Azkaban, she be old. Like, this guy's grandmother old. So, there's no way that's his sister. <laughs> Unless his sister was born hundreds of years um, before him. Okay, maybe not a hundred, maybe eighty or something. I don't know. Wizards in which which is the wizards in the wizarding world live a long time. I think I've seen ominous in potions, or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. Yeah. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, mm -hmm. one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Oh, yeah. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Mm. You'll also teach me about a Cadabra? And Crucio? And Imperial? Perius? Which are all very bad spells. 
But I think this is where he teaches... This isn't the moment he teaches me those. But this is where... This is the spot where he teach me. Oh boy. It's funny how they... The way they set up Ominous. They made Ominous sound like a really nice guy. <coughs> despite his family's origins. The Gaunts are not really nice people. Most gods, anyway. There's a few of them that are good. Um, but they're not really nice people. And they're also Voldemort's family. So... The reason I say it's like they did a good job with Ominous is because, oh, you know, let's just go, you know, beat up Ominous or kill him. And that'll just... Change history and get rid of uh, Voldemort. No, I'm going to sound like a really upstanding dude. Probably even the best dude ever. That sounds dangerous. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon you using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair... I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. All right, here we go. getting it ready to actually try it out stick to the target ba, 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 ba. best to keep the undercroft intact Where is have it? a go at those candelabras both have their uses but i think you'll find that a confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like incendio confringo nice work how does it feel it's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. Confringo! That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I don't know if uh, having a spell like this is going to be good for me, though. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. It's almost too much. The blast does heat things up. I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. An Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Han. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Han. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor <sighs> Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Uh, there we go. I was just like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why... Why are we telling him everything? Just hold the phone. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I can... Oh, I told Natty everything. Natty knows everything. I don't know if I want to tell Sebastian. There's just... There's just something about Sebastian that I don't quite trust yet. Like, with Sebastian, there's moments where it's like, oh, he seems like the nice guy from Slytherin. But then there are other moments when he teaches me spells that I... that are, I'm not supposed to learn, and he gets me in trouble. But sometimes you need to do underhanded tactics in order to defeat... in order to defeat dark wizards. And he would probably give me that access. So... You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yes, as long as you keep when your- When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. You just keep your mouth shut about my ability. Thank you very much. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I'm going for it. I feel like having a Slytherin on my side that trusts me legit gets me, like, that, that may be good. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? <sighs> Stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly he... found myself in a strange... He's gonna know! Lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Jesus, okay, Malfoy, calm her down. I knew that, like... When it comes to a blind person, they only they have to rely on their ears. So usually they can tell when someone's lying based on the tone of their voice. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Can I go in and listen to that, or...? No? Revelio.
But yeah, that does get me in connection with uh, with the Gaunt family, technically. What is this one? Oh, the Summoner's Court. Meh. Yeah, I'm better with Akio now than I was ever, but no. Main story. But now I can shoot fire from uh, quite the distance away, which is great. Oh, what? I are you done yelling at uh, Sebastian? That is cool, though. I I always have seen him around, like with his wand out and that blinking like that. And I was just I thought he was practicing. Um, I don't know, practicing something, like a smaller version, but no, he's using it to see. That is so cool. Italians and a historian's uniform. Oh. It was brilliant solving those old treasure maps. Let me answer. If it isn't the treasure hunter, still can't believe you found that old uniform. Well done. Easy with the wand, please. Every time I'm there, yes, please. The room of requirement is up here? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. There it is. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> I don't quite uh, trust this door that just magically appeared in front of me. That is the special thing about the Room of Requirement. It is true to its name. When you require something, it will magically appear and become that thing. Dumbledore once required a bathroom. And it turned itself into a bathroom. Harry used it because he wanted to hide something. And it turned into a room full of clutter so he could hide it. Then he needed it as a dueling club practice area. And that's what it became. For me, it's... Oh, it's the clutter What is this place? Room. This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. 
You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh, dear God. Splendid. We're going to change this to Evanesco. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I think these are only spells that can, like spells that only work hey, in the Room of Requirement. Is that elf? Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. A, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you had expected. Let me know if you still want to meet again. Sincerely, T. Oh, look, it's a giant wizard's chest pawn. up there is an item over here i want it i want it i want it oh wait maybe it's not i mean it's one of the things that i am kind of sad that it's not let me do and that's play wizard's chess but i understand why dear me can't you keep it down some of us are trying to rest Pavilion. But yeah, I understand why they wouldn't do it that way because, like, wizard chess is no different than regular chess. It's just more violent. Treasure chest. Yeah, I see you. Hold on. What do I need to do with you? Oh, I just needed to pull you out slightly. So what is up there? Uh, this one. Come over. Come back over here. So I just needed to pull you slightly. Can I... Debonair Ensemble. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Rebellion! That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! I was ready for a fight. Let's 
these constantly give me moonstones. And a toilet for some reason that's somehow connected to. Don't question it. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath, cheeky thing. Pretty. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? How do house elves like? Do Hell Cells just have innate knowledge that this room exists? Or are they because Hell Cells are like one of the most neediest Is that a golden snitch? Like one of the most neediest Perhaps you should races. Your wits and find out. <laughs> who's who's talking? Who's talking? Who needs a good ass kicking? But no, is it because that like Hellsows are uh, some of the most neediest of creatures? Because they're literal literally slaves that uh, they often have needs. Like a lot of needs. I hope that Hell Self can find us in here. Alright, hold on. I want to go this way, because... Nope. I need to push that a little bit more. slide that way. No, but how do I get in there? There's no flying allowed.
Oh, that is the only... Hold on. Hold on. Okay, nope. Oh, there's a there's a queen chess piece. I have to know I can just push that. Oh, wait. That might have done the trick. I just need to be on the other side. Drop. Thank you. Think I figured it out. I just need to be on the other side. You gotta push this. Do a lot of pushing. No, 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 no. Get in the hole. Be able to just hop right on over. What is this not close enough or something?
Seems kind of unfair that there's a barrier. Figured that'd be the the way to go. Onto something. Thought I was really onto something. push spell. I really need that push spell. I came to the room of requirement in order to get the frickin in order the potions so I could get the push spell. But then getting the push spell is what I really need. I mean, this is doable, but easier with the push spell. Is this not the solution? I don't get it. Something's something's not right. You would think that it would just be a matter of, you know, getting both in the air and then jumping over the barricade. For fuck's sakes. Sorry, I'm just really stupid. I 
I tried to Accio the, the chest, but I need to Accio the box that it's on. Okay, so that can move. No, you know what? You fly in the air. You come over here. Oh god, I've I've destroyed us all. Need you to Yeah see foam nightwear All that for something that I'll probably never wear, but I'll wear for the five more defense. I need one more level for that. Which I'm about to get. Oh, there's the house elf. Elf. Yikes! Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Can we really do this inside the room? yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the Dexter's description. Yay! Unidentified gear.
Would this room be visible from outside now that there's a sunroof? Or is it one of those magical things that it's just like... Oh well, let's identify. Let's not think about it. Oh, it just identifies everything? You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Hunter fingerless gloves? Don't know about that. I get the feeling that they're... Um, just green versions? Yeah, nope. We'll do black. So that was... Scarf. Same offense as what I'm currently wearing, so... Another stylish top hat. Orange Eye of Newt Goggles. Legendary. Defense 61. 13 more defense. Decreased damage taken from Dark Wizards. Protego Shielding. Okay. Gives me Mad Eye Moody vibes. I like it. What was the other thing that I had? It was a cape, I think? Tanned cloak. Sucks, unless it looks good. Nope. No, it does not. See from Nightwear, I've already figured out I need one more level, which I should be getting very soon. Highland Explorer Garb? the Higher Explorer Cloak. I need 20 more for those. So if that's a garb, that's here. Alright, yeah, Highland Explorer Garb. An ensemble of shades of green and brown. But I still like my dueling gear. My dueling shirt that I got from dueling. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. <laughs> I teach you. I do it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? 
While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. <laughs> they can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Conjuring spell. We're going to add that to you. The opposite of making you disappear. Does this room look different, depending on what house you have? Can I, like, put you in here? Ooh, I got a lot. I got a lot. So, potions used to brew potions. Items used to grow plant. Enchant items to be used in the room of... Yeah. Wall hangings. Rugs, furnitures, decorations, statues, seasonal decorations, jack-o'-lanterns, and Christmas tree. I got a few of the statues. I don't have any tables. Wizard's chest table. Scientific cabinet, botanical cabinet. Dragon sculpture stand. Some mannequins. Alright, so potion. Small scientific potion stand. Small botanical potion stand. Oh, this is the playable space. change its color and its visuals. And I can rotate the object. Okay. So I can put you in a corner like this. I can just conjure multiple... snaps into place. Gotcha. That's what the... That's what the snapping's for. Nice. Need a potting table. Thank you. 
I don't know what where the front is on this thing, but Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. Ooh. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Hmm. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I do like another transfiguration spell, but first, potion. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Yeah, but first, so I think I have an Edoras Potion already. Edoras Potion, yes. So I need a Maxima Potion and a Focus Potion. So a Maxima Potion takes about 30 seconds, and this will take one minute. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Yes, please! <laughs> Let's do the focus potion. Alright, we'll let that do its thing. Uh, I want to go over here. Sydney. Twenty-one more seconds. Let's see what else I can conjure here. Got some wall hangings. Good place for I'd more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. Uh. 
Give everything a nice Hufflepuff look. Niffler and Witch Portrait. Got some tables. Do we need this utility, though? I already got the desk of description. Okay. Enchanted loom. Material refiner. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. All right, Very teach me. Well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. Got him. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. What well, I've already got enough. Okay, got a focus potion. So now I need the Maxima Potion. Yeah. So we'll get that going. How are you doing over here? Another four minutes? I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Conjure... Conjure floor decorations. Let's do a nice rug. Rug. Did 
Didn't say it had to be the same. Got some statues. Can't quite get it, but that's fine. Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Can I... I thought I was able to do that anyway. Like, before I placed the item down. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Tiny desk. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Change the color. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Me likey. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh... I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect.
Oh, yes. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Did a second room just open up? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Interior decorating. Me likey. Me likey a lot. Nah, I can't get those books. Got a screen and a gold herbology trophy. Yep, can definitely see people going nuts in here. Quest, okay, so uh Sharp's assignment, use a focus potion, maxima and Edoras potion. Potion gave me a freaking black eye by the looks of it. But I guess my spell is like, ooh, that does not last long. Ten potion class during the day. Acquire and use a venomous tentacular. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Okay. Both of these are helpful. Let's go learn to pulso. Ooh, 
Ooh, hold on. You're probably ready. Hell yeah, you are. Be like, why am I not moving? <laughs> Peeves is uh, having fun again. Mind is already racing about like Revelio. the different uh, like uses of the room of requirement in the wizarding world. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. I should be able to light that now. Confringo. Big one is like again in book five. Book five, Harry used it as a like dueling club, so to speak, with his friends. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Cool. Or at least it's one way. But, like, what confused me a lot was that uh, Umbridge managed to find it while they were using it. I suppose she did use a student to track it down. But at the same time, like, I feel like there was another way for her to find it. Because, again, the room of requirement changes based on the person's needs. And I figure if she just, like, came up to the room of requirement saying, like, I need to find the dueling club where... Rebellion. Have I not seen this before? Like, the dueling club. She would be able to find it. The statue, it's statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue is an ingratiating, with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave the potion is their best friend. Off on another adventure, are we? So it's alcohol. That's all it is. It's alcohol. Could make a potion in here. Or we're just gonna... We're just gonna wait. I'm just gonna sleep on this floor. I'm going to leave the room in order to go back into the room.
What was it he just gave to everyone? Like, how are your assignments coming along? They're finished, Professor. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. First try. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Rebellion. Professor Sharp's Aura Badge. Aura Badge. Auras compromise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protecting the wizard wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Aura Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Got the pulso. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Yes, that's going to be very handy. Love it. My family has been sorted into Ravenclaw for Bit of a bookish lot when I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I have not saved in a hot minute. 19 hours. Oh, da, 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 da. I may want to cut it right there, actually. Hold on. Because I got to do the map chamber, but I'll, I'll wait for that. Prove your magical abilities to access the next trial. Tell Professor Fake about the map chamber. I do want to learn Wingardium Leviosa, but I need to use a Venomous tac Tentacula, which is easy to do. Pretty sure I have one in my inventory. Yes, I still do. So. I just have to use one. It doesn't say I have to use it on an enemy, I just have to use one. But I do have to use a Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. So I have to go find multiple enemies and use that. And then I'll be able to learn Wingardium Leviosa. I got a talent. There's an additional blast around you. Confringo produce a fiery bolt that seeks enemy targets. Uh, I could do the stealth now that I'm level 22. I think I kind of want that. So now I've mastered stealth. Screw the room of requirement. So I'd have to leave the school in order to go find an enemy that I can just destroy I can use my broom here right I can
Pretty sure I don't have a Mandrake on hand. No. Unlocked by acquiring Mandrake Seeds of Dogweed and Death Cap. Let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's we'll look at what we have, shall we? We'll see, but right now I want to... I actually have some upgrades. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Right, because I got to level 22, so... No gloves, no masks, no hats. I can now wear this, though, for five more defense. Well, we're going to change that back to my crossed wands garb. And I can now wear the Charming House Cloak for 35 more offense. Hell yeah. Oh, because I had the tan cloak on by accident. That's why. Yeah, whoopsie. I forgot I had that on. I put that on. Let's look at what we have, shall we? That would have been horrible if I walked in the combat with that on. Beast feeder spellcraft. Beast Toy Box, Shopping Station. Use it to produce Moonstone essentially for additional Conjuration spells, Hopping Pot. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. And then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Jesus Christ, Sharp, you are, uh... You really, really want me to... Uh, map. Where's the map? I need...
Can I even use a Mandrake? Because it almost seems like I can't purchase mandrake seeds. Greetings! Please take your time looking about. Fuck sweet seed, not grass, mallet, fertilizer. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Acquire and use a Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. But I can't use a Mandrake because I need to go to Dogweed and Deathcap. Wherever that is. can't like zoom in to Keenbridge is a community of Swanland located next to a large lake. It is said that Keenbridge received its name from a large magical bridge that was said to bring you to your love. However, there is no such bridge in the region. I kind of wish it would tell me, like... Potions... Bingo! Dogweed and Death Cap. Just, uh, I swear to God, if there's a witch in here, if it's a, if it's a witch running this place, just a little hut in the middle of nowhere. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Experience. Sorry. Lumos. <coughs> You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Such a wee bairn gain a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. Yep, sure. 
Got any uh, mandrakes lying around that I could just swipe? Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Speaking of which... Constant demand for antidotes. I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. You saying someone died here? Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Mandrake seeds. But I will take two things of mandrake. Oh, I... I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Even though I have a lot of money, this is all expensive. But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? I'm gonna buy a second. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Yeah, I'm gonna just take two. Just in case I miss the... the shot with the mandrake. Yoink. Whoops, whoops, come on. I believe what I'm looking for is up here. Don't even have it equipped. You thought that just 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 gave me enough money for my frickin' uh, Lumos for the uh, Mandrake. No, no, come back, come back. I thought I thought Lumos ran out, so I put re put it on. Fuck, it did actually run out. Lumos. Should just go around the long way. Because trying to cut through there and take any shortcuts is... Not. It's just taking longer. Because if I try to climb over any cliffs or anything, I put the wand away, which causes Lumos to vanish. I'm not here for a knotgrass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Such a 
such a wee bairn gear of thrashing. Dogway and death. Cap tree, this large tree with winding branches supports the shop Dogweek and Death Cap. I can't believe it. Revelio. Those that go to Azkaban never had a chance in the first place. Kind of looks like a mandrake. Like the road that leads to there. All right. Mine. All right, so now I just need to use that mandrake and the venomous tentacula on, on some enemies. Well, the and mandrake specifically on multiple enemies, but. The venomous plant on I just gotta use it. And then I'm set to learn Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. But I think I'm going to stop her here. Cause I've got that ready to go. Um I'm going to have to grab myself a Thunderbrew Potion, which I might have one. Hold on. Do I have a Thunderbrew Potion? No. I need to get the recipe from Pippin. Let me go get the recipe from Pippin. So I can at least make that if need be. I need to use that on an enemy, so I could use the Mandrake and then the Thunderbrew Potion. Ding. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I will buy a Thunderbrew Potion. Those Thunderbrew Potions. Oh, a thousand each? A wise decision. I'll buy one. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Things are getting expensive. But with that, I am set up to do assignment one and assignment two. Or Professor Garlic's assignment one and Professor Sharp's assignment two. So I'll learn Magadium Leviosa and Defendo. Which will both be helpful. I'll ha yeah, once I learn Defendo, the only spell I'll be missing is Bombarda. Then I'll learn Wingardium Leviosa. So the only spells I'm missing are Arresto Memento, or Momentum, Glacius, Transform, uh, Descendo, Flipendo, oddly enough, and Bombarda, because I'm about to learn Defendo and Wingardium Leviosa. Not including the curses, of course, the main three curses. So I've almost got all the spells, which is great. Oh, and I'm still missing Alohomora. That's fine. Because with, 
with a lot of these spells under my belt, I can figure out which four I want to, like, focus on. And I know I need one of each color. Well, I don't really need, like, I need one of the three colors. Uh, the purple, the yellow, and the red. Because certain enemies have those spells. So, like, they'll have a shield on that's red. I gotta use some of the red spells, like Expelliarmus or uh, Confergo. Or Confringo. Or Defendo. Anyone who has a yellow, I have to use, like... Ooh, Transformation would get rid of their shield? That's funny. Honestly, I think I like the idea of Depulso rather than Accio. Like, the only reason... I don't need Accio anymore because Incendio... Um, yeah, you know what? We're putting that there, and Accio's going with my useful spells. Because it, it, it pulls things to me, like Lumos and all that. I'd rather use Defendo to keep them away from me, because then my other spells can hit them. Whereas I needed Accio beforehand, because Incendio had a short range. But now that I have a longer fire range spell, fire spell, that should have no problem. Hell, if I learn Defendo... Yeah, these are damaging spells anyway, so... I don't know, just... The idea of, like, lifting someone in the air and then dropping them with Descendo just is funny. And Flipendo just flipping him over. Has a short cooldown. Yeah. I feel like Flipendo is a great spell to start a combo. And Descendo is a great spell to finish a combo. So, like, you hit, you use Flipendo, flip them upwards, cast whatever combo you want, and then end with Descendo. Dealing considerable damage. Oof gonna be great but before I carry on and start gawking at the spells that I don't have I'm gonna call her here that will be the end for tonight so I will be back tomorrow I believe yeah 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 I'll be back tomorrow playing more of this I'm gonna keep going with this until I finish it even, even during the day, even if I'm streaming during the day. The next time I'm going to stream during the day, I think, is going to be Saturday, I believe. That'll be when I stream, like, at 12, like, noon. For my time. 8, 8 ET. Um, but, for the most part, I will be streaming at night. Because of work. But, yeah. I'm going to head to bed. Maybe grab a snack first. And get some rest, because i got to work tomorrow. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, or night. Anybody who just popped in and just was lurking, I thank so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more Hogwarts Legacy. I'm still having fun with this game. And I hope anyone who's watching from YouTube is also having fun as well. Bye!